Hi, Cade. I'm Samantha. I've been watching The Beaver Bunch for about two months now, um, and I think that, that it's, it's such a fantastic um, group channel. I think that all the beavers are so awesome and bring such um, wonderful insight into dating and relationships um, from, from a woman's perspective, and in your case, and from a male's perspective. And I, I've been wanting to post a video response ever since the week where you all wanted the community to make video responses, but I, I seem to have only found time now. Um, and um, this, this week you were talking about relationships, or dating etiquette, I mean. And um, I, I wanted to reply to yours first because um, we're both trans, and that connection kind of feels safer to me somehow or more natural than um, than connecting, you know, find, finding common ground with <clears throat> genetic uh, female uh, lesbian. Um, so I, I identify as lesbian, um, but I also identify as transgendered woman. And so, I mean, I've, I've, I've only really been, I've been transitioning for a while, but I think that I've only really been a woman in my own mind for about a year. Um, and so... When I started my before I started my transition, I had always identified as straight male, uh, so it took. I spent so much time kind of figuring it out. What does it mean to be a woman while I was transitioning to being a woman, and it's only been kind of more recently that I've kind of started to tackle. Well, what does it mean to be a lesbian? Uh, because there's that's that's a whole different can of worms. Um, you know, I've never really had to deal with my own sexuality before, um, you know, in my life. It was always pretty clear, but but now being not just a woman but trans um, really complicates things. So basically what I'm trying to say is that I'm kind of at the beginning of my own journey as, as a lesbian, and I think that, um, you know, the Beaver Bunch has been so helpful in that, so I wanted to thank you uh, for being part of it. Um, so, in terms of dating etiquette, um, I guess I don't really have anything to share. I more kind of want to ask or to to share, well, maybe share my experiences, but I don't feel like I have any knowledge to bestow um, because uh, I don't think that I've ever really been good at dating. Um, but I wanted to ask a question, basically. I, um, you know, recently I kind of reconnected with an old friend from high school that knew me before I transitioned, and we ended up going on a couple of dates, and at one point we kind of got pretty physical, um, and that, that was really the first kind of physically intimate experience I've had with a woman, as a woman, um, you know, completely considering myself female. Um, and, I mean, it was, it was a fantastic experience, and it totally, um, you know, reinforced, uh, you know, it, I, ha I used to have so much trouble <laughs> as a guy, um, in bed, and, and kind of, this time around, it was different, and it was so nice, and there was all kind of, like, pressures and fears that I used to have that were just gone. Um, but the point is that this person was someone that I really was really interested in. Um, we had a ton in common, you know, we knew each other from before, and she was fine with my transition, and we had so many of the same interests, and so many of the same life experiences, and so many shared philosophies, um, about spirituality and just just all this stuff that seemed like it was really important to me to find in in a partner, um, and you know when we kind of when we kind of got together, I I thought it was going to be like the beginning of something really nice because like there was so much um, uh, like an obvious intimacy between us in the air and just a lot of energy and. and it seemed I, I felt like I was getting energy back, and after we did stuff, she kind of told me like, "Well, I I have feelings for somebody," and 
it was totally out of the blue, and uh, it was kind of contradictory to the energy I'd been getting from her the whole time. Um, and, you know, that started this really hilarious process of sort of a de-evolution of our relationship, where we had started out um, going to see, going to have dinner and going to see a show, and then it sort of transformed into, like, the next date was, like, just a movie, and then the next date was just, like, you know, lunch, <laughs> so, and then, and then I haven't seen her for a while, um, although we've talked a little tiny bit, but now I feel like every time I try to talk to her, I'm, I'm sort of imposing or, or, or nagging her or something, when the point is that I just think that she's a really awesome person, and, and, I don't know, I, I, I felt like there was something there, um, and so I don't really know what I did, if, if I did something wrong, like, if I was overbearing, um, you know, I don't know, I mean, she, I guess she also kind of broke some rules, like, um, you know, we would have this great discussion, and then I would leave to go home, and while I'm in the car, she'll be sending me text messages, like, signs, like, I think she's interested, and, and I liked getting that kind of attention from her, it's like, well, you, you didn't want to stop talking? Like, okay, cool, like, I like, I like that, um, but, I don't know, there was just something, there's just something that I can't figure out, I don't, I don't know, something went wrong, and I don't know what it was, um, and it's kind of been bothering me, and, I'm the kind of person that is very in touch with her feelings and is very interested in communicating with other people to understand what they're feeling and what they're going through and their perspective and the things that they want. And um, I guess I could, she never made those things clear to me. Um, and so that's been a frustrating experience, kind of my first serious lesbian dating experience. Um, but the other thing is that, you know, having moved on and trying to maintain a friendship with this person, I'm trying to maintain a friendship with this person, and, um, but I'm also kind of back in the dating pool, and I feel like, as a trans girl, like, if I go to a lesbian bar, there's one lesbian bar that I know about here in Copenhagen, and it seems very insular, so the girls that go there go there all the time, and they all know each other, and nobody knows me, and I'm the American, and I'm trans, so I totally stick out, and I don't know if people are staring and laughing at me or what. Um, but when I try to talk to girls um, that I know are lesbian, I don't really know what to say, because it almost seems like there's this, like, secret club for, for, for bio women that have, that have been lesbian for a while. It's like, they, they know, like, secrets. Um, and, and they can relate to each other in ways that I can't relate to them. And I find it kind of like a wall, um, trying to break through that wall and trying to, like, learn and, and be more, I don't want to say genuine as a woman, because I feel like I am a genuine woman, um, but be more something. Like, I'm not sure. Um... So I was wondering if, if you or any of the beavers had any any opinions on on either of those two situations. And also, like, when I meet new people that, it, you know, is not at, like, a lesbian bar, like, I don't know, I can't tell if, 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 they're, if they are lesbian or not, um, or if they're interested in me, or would be. Like, <laughs> I don't know if there's, like, some energy or something like that. I guess what I want to ask is, how can you tell, like, if there's someone that you're attracted to, and maybe you want to talk to them, or, or, like, communicate that you're interested in that sort of way, um, like, what's a safe way to do that? Because I don't necessarily want to assume that this girl, this cute girl that I'm talking to is going to be into me, or think that I'm cute too. And I think it's embarrassing, I don't know how to ask, like, it's embarrassing to just say, hey, are you gay, by the way? Um, and so I would never do that, but, you know, any tips you have would be awesome. And the other beavers, I would love it if any of you would respond to this video, too. But I'm out of time, so uh, thank you, 
and talk to you later and keep up all the great videos. I'll be watching. Bye.